By interdependence, we primarily mean trade. And trade has always been very important for development. The smaller the country, the more important trade is. Um, why is that? Uh, first of all, trade allows countries to specialize in whatever they are best at. So there are gains from specialization, from efficiency. Uh, second, it allows them to tap into larger markets. If you're a small country, you can only sell to the domestic market. Um, if you engage in trade, then you can uh, sell to the world market. And for, in many cases, it's much cheaper to produce large quantities and sell to a large market. Um, third, and that's perhaps the most important effect, it allows countries to learn from each other. There is knowledge transfer. So in the long run, it contributes to knowledge transfer, to, to innovation. And lastly, uh, trade also, interdependence, uh, contributes to peace. So countries that trade with each other have a very large opportunity cost of war. So there is every incentive to keep things peaceful. Trade has been very important for development. So when trade slows down, there are serious concerns that this may affect development, and especially development of uh, poor countries that have not yet participated in the world trading system. Yes, it can, but this does not happen automatically. Uh, trade generates winners and losers. That means it may contribute to inequality. It also generates more transport, and more transport means more packaging, more waste. All this can have adverse effects uh, on the environment. Uh, this does not mean that uh, we should not embrace trade, but it does mean that we need complementary policies in order to address these potential costs of trade and in order to make sure that trade contributes to inclusive growth and sustainable development. Mm -hmm.